Hi everyone, Vincent with Barco here. Today we're here to talk to you about EventMaster 8.2, which brings the entire EventMaster family back together. As always, you can find a full list of these features in the What's New file located in your download package, which can be found here. Before we get started though, we want to give a big shout out and thank you to our partner, Metro Media Productions, for providing this lovely studio space that you see here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll begin by highlighting some new features for the PDS 4K. We now support output video formats with refresh rates lower than 50 Hz. We have added an additional system mode. You now have the choice to have two screen destinations with 4K at 60 output or four screen destinations with up to 4K 30 output. In this new quad output mode, you get four independent mixing screens. The B destinations will have the same output format as the A destinations, but you may set them to have different color spaces and areas of interest. Inputs are now available as multi-view resources and the user can choose from one of four pre-designed layouts. Pro tip, the EventMaster toolset can be used to edit these layouts and if you want to restore them to the pre-designed look, that reset is available from the front panel menu. In 8.1, we added the ability to map presets to the front panel. In this version, we've added the ability to map cues along with presets into the same operation mode. Custom formats are now available to use on the PDS 4K. They can be created and assigned using EventMaster Toolset. Now let's talk about some of the features for the rest of the EventMaster family. Hey everybody, we've got Tally. With the new HDMI 2.0 card in the multi-viewer slot, you can have Tally indications on the multi-viewer and the programming page, as well as send Tally states as UDP packets on the network using the TSL 3.1 protocol. On the programming page, the Tally indicators show on the input and native background tabs. We do not have the equipment to properly show external tally, but here we can see the tally info being received via an application provided by Video Walrus. For more information on the tally feature, please consult the What's New file located in your download package. We can now lock the canvas size as well as horizontal and vertical offsets in the GUI. Using this lock allows you to add or remove outputs from your screen destination without automatically adjusting or resetting your canvas size and offsets. Just like on the input, we can now output super wide resolutions like 8192 by 1080 on the DP 1.2 output cards.
The destination tabs at the top of the programming page display a blue dot when they are selected for a transition. This allows the users to see which destinations are active when they are using a programming layout or isolating a single destination for composition work. The new Reset All button will quickly restore every attribute of a layer back to its generic state. When you freeze a source at the input level, the snowflake in the GUI will turn green in the layer instead of blue. However, blue is still the default color for a layer freeze. We are adding support for a built-in simulator in 8.1. You can now configure and simulate BTO and Link systems natively in EventMaster Toolset. We have added a preference to turn tab animations on or off. This will allow the tabs to float in the side panel or become anchored to the top of your Event Master toolset. User can now swap the LCD button displays text and background color with the flip of a switch in Event Master toolset. We've added complete and relative indicators to the preset mapping tab. Once the buttons are mapped, complete presets show as a bright gray and relative presets show as a darker gray. There's a new custom button to freeze or unfreeze the outputs of all selected destinations. Users can press and hold the multi-select custom button while selecting or deselecting multiple layers. Press and hold the map source and press one of the custom input to primary or input to backup buttons to switch to any of the assigned backup inputs or return to the primary. Pressing the Return All Backups to Primary Custom button will switch any input from backup to the primary as long as the primary input has valid sync while the auto switch is turned on. And finally, we've added some new JSON commands to help our multi-view layout changes as well as multi-operator usage. To see a full list of these new commands, please consult the PDF that is located on our FTP. And that about wraps it up for EventMaster 8.2. Remember, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us at e 2 barcocom or on our Facebook page, Barco Folsom Switchers. Thanks for watching. See you soon.